Hello again, and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Quantock Brewery, and it's their Royal Stag IPA, 6% ABV, and it's in a pint bottle. I tell you what I really like about this, all of their beers, have, um, they seem close to nature. Um, they've got a white hind, which is a deer, and there's all pictures of trees and One's got reference to a to a tree itself in Will's Neck. So I like the fact that they're based in Somerset and they've got this great country feel about the bottle. Um, another thing I like about this, they've got a big white square on the back with a freshness date. Of the 31st of December 2011. Sometimes you're looking for the freshness date, you can't quite find it. And, but this one, boom, it's there straight away. Right, I'm going to get this straight into the glass. It's bottle conditioned. I do, I do like to get all of my beer in the glass. I like to get the sediment in, all the yeast. The reason being is some people prefer not to get all the beer in the glass. They prefer to leave a bit of the sediment in the bottom, but I love the flavour. It's your own personal preference. Um, the breweries genuinely tell you otherwise they prefer to sell you to not put the sediment in but there isn't too much in the bottom there isn't too much at all but it is bottle conditioned so what are we getting lovely amber like a deep red amber color going on there so a very small one finger head aroma no, it's quite light in the aroma. It's a little malty and citrusy. So let's get stuck in straight away. I'll never ever ever get over that first taste. That first taste blows me away every time with this style of drink. I absolutely love IPAs and this is a classic style. There's a little bit of carbonation there but that, the bubbles are very small so it's naturally carbonated with a bottle conditioning. The taste is very smooth, slightly caramelly, it's, it is citrusy, but it's not over citrusy. It's not, um, if you don't mind me saying, it's not American citrusy, but there's definite hints of grapefruit and pine in there. But, you know, kind of like an orange peel. Taste, I always say, that goes on. This is very, very smooth. It's not really, it doesn't give you that bitter aftertaste. <clears throat> I think the IBUs would be quite, quite low on this. It's, it's smooth, it's malty, but it's also got that good citrus, caramel, uh, grapefruit taste. It's blended very well. I always say that classic, English style or British style bittersweet taste. Absolutely fantastic. I better slow up on this. Four minutes and ten seconds. Nearly finished the pint. Thanks to Quantock Brewery. Um, I think I've got his carriage in somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. Um, Rob Rainer. Sent me the beer from Quantock Brewery, thanks to him. Nice pint glass. Seems a nice fellow. Thank you to him for the rest of the range. I'll try to just grab the camera and show you quickly what I'll be reviewing in the future from them. Okay, so we have the Sunraker, the White Hind, the Quantock Ale, the Will's Neck. And here, 
is the Quantock Stout. Stout. That's 4.5% ABV, and look at that. It's won an SIBA Gold Regional winner 2010. So I'm looking forward to that stout. Oh. Pardon me. Back to this beer in hand though. Where were we? Okay. I'm just going to read you a little bit on the label here. This strong IPA style ale hacks back to the beer first brewed for the export to India in the 19th century. I tell you what I've noticed about these breweries, um, especially the British ones, they like to give reference to this um, 19th century um, when the British Empire was in India. They always like to they make sure um, that the world knows that they produced or they invented this style of beer, which I mean for a nation that does did invent an awful lot. You've got to be proud of that. Um, this well hop beer is full of full bodied, has a strong flavour and outstanding hoppy character. It has got a hop, hoppy character, a good, very, very good um, hoppy character. But what I like about this beer is the fact that it blends so well with the malty taste as well. It's slightly caramelly on the on on the palate. Absolutely fantastic, and it's very, very smooth. It's going down very easy. If you want to get in contact with this brewery to order any of their fine beers, glasses, merchandise, it's www.quantockbrewery.co.uk. Quantock is Q U A N T O C K. Quantockbrewery.co.uk. Uh, real Ales from the Heart of Somerset. Quantock Brewery was born out of a passion for great beer. We produce fine quality ales for bottle and cask using the very best natural ingredients and traditional craft brewing techniques. Our only ingredients are grain, whole hops, yeast and water. As pure as it can be. Fantastic. Okay, time for a rating. What do I give Quantock Breweries Royal Stag IPA out of 10? Sometimes, my viewers, you must think that um, I could be—I could very well be biased by um, the beer that gets sent to me in the post. But I get sent a lot of beer from a lot of breweries and a lot of on, to, on the Well, there's a couple of online retailers now that send me beer as well. And I am honest as the day I was born with these reviews. I have to be. Um, for that reason, I'm going to be totally honest with this beer. I do give a lot of high numbers, but I just like beer so much, and I really, really like this taste. It settled in my stomach well. It was the drinkability on the beer was fantastic. It it, it just went down so easy. I love the taste, the citrus, the grapefruit, the pine. The slight caramel notes, the malty, uh, bittersweet tastes. So for that reason, and this is my honest opinion, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's absolutely fantastic. If you can find this beer, I'm not sure if you can find it online or if you want to get in contact with the brewery. Get in contact with them. It is such a good beer. There's nothing like drinking a fantastic tasting craft beer. Um, this is what the campaign for Real Ale is all about, um, and this is what we're doing on the Real Ale Guide. So thanks for watching. If you want to get in contact with me, you can follow my Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Real Ale Craft Beer. I Twitter at Real Ale Today. Email me at Real Ale Guide at googlemail.com. But most of all, I love your comments. Please comment on my video. Tell me if you tried this beer, if you plan to try this beer, um, if you've had their beers and you're not too keen, if you've had their beers and you absolutely love them, leave your comments. I always answer comments. It's, it's the best part of YouTube, I think, apart from drinking beer, of course. Um, subscribe if you like, but thanks for now. Look forward to another episode in, in a couple of days' time. Cheers.